Garrett Harris was very much that guy before they let him go to Orlando, but that was after the injuries. But 2023-24 season, he averaged 6.9 points per game, 1.7 rebounds, 1.6 assists, but shot 37% from three and 3.8 attempts per game. How are you feeling about Garrett Harris? You already called him mid, but how are you feeling about him? Because he is mid. Did you not – do you want to read those stats again? Oh, yeah, they're bad. Like, they're not good. Like, it's – he shoots the three ball well, but that's what he's supposed to do, so – I mean, if you can't do your job, then you can't do your job. He's not gonna he's not gonna beat you off the dribble. He's not he's just gonna sit in the corner, he's gonna spot up, he's gonna catch and shoot. That's what that's what we're gonna get out of him. And you're right, the injuries did suck for him because he played 70 games with Michigan State, averaged 15 points a game, like from a, I'm pretty sure he's from Michigan. No, he's from Indiana. But playing at MSU, I mean, maybe bringing him back to uh to the Michigan area, maybe uh brings a spark into his shot a little bit. Uh, he is very mid, and I'm going to continue to always preach that because it, his what he brings to the table is not it's not something like a, a team like Detroit needs. I don't think because we we already grabbed some shooters. We already grabbed a Quentin Grimes. That's your three and D guy. Like we we've already kind of reached out and started building. So I think bringing him on with Quentin Grimes, I I don't like that. I know it's not going to be a lot of money to go and snag this guy. I don't think he's going to cost a whole lot to come bring him on the team for maybe one or two years, but I, he is my least favorite out of this group. He's going to average better numbers, though, in Detroit. He's going to get more shots than just like five or six that he was getting in Orlando. He'll be a double-digit scorer in Detroit. He had to take a back seat in Orlando behind Paolo, behind Franz, behind Jalen Suggs, behind Cole Anthony, all those guys. And the reason he's going to be leaving the Orlando Magic team is because they have another guard in Anthony Black and then another guy in Jed Howard that at this point are still part of the Magic's future. So you got to start getting those guys on the floor and getting them some consistent minutes. And by doing that, you got to remove a guy like Gary Harris. You got to remove a guy like Markel Foltz. So I'm in on it. I think it will be a lot better. And I think his situ I think the situation in Detroit will probably be better for Gary Harris in terms of his output on the offensive end. He's gonna, like I said, he's gonna get more shots. That 37, he's gonna get more than 3.8 threes a game, too. He'll probably that'll probably be up to almost six. You can almost double that, I would say, because again, who else is gonna take the shots away from him? Detroit, the, the Pistons aren't gonna keep every player that's on this roster. Like if they bring in Gary Harris, they're gonna let someone go. And it might be a Quentin Grimes because, let's be honest, he did not have a good showing for the Detroit Pistons when he was traded here. Those games he played, they just weren't very good. Now, you could say it was because of the injury or whatever, but in this business, it's show me what you can do or get out. And Quentin Grimes just did not have that great of a season with the Detroit Pistons. Oh, man. Am I right or am I wrong? Okay, so – from from being a I mean a very low mid athlete like and understanding the process of like being on new teams and and having to learn new systems I give Quentin Grimes the benefit of the doubt because you already saw how fucking chaotic our team was with Monty Williams with the guys that have been on the team already for what what when did we acquire him like game sixty who's at the trade deadline the, the trade I'm not like sure right, the right at the trade yeah so you're bringing in a guy that um is joining a team that also has no idea what the hell they're doing. So I think that's really hard for him to come and transition and be like, hey, so this is what we do. And he's like, ah, that doesn't make any sense. And they're, Cade's like, trust me, we know it doesn't make any sense. So like, I think he got put in a really bad situation to be successful. I think maybe we give him, give Quentin Grimes more of an off season to kind of recover from injury and, and be on the team for a long period of time to see what his numbers are. Now, if he goes into this year and he's trash, then I'm going to agree with you. I'll also put him in the mid tier section, but like uh, if you grab uh, Gary Harris, we're not, we're not acquiring mid season. We're not acquiring him during anything that he needs to know for a certain team. Like he's going to be on our team through the off season, go through summer league with this team so he'll know a lot more, but I don't think you throw Quentin Grimes out just yet for Gary Harris. I, I, I mean, you could pair them together. I think those two could be a, a good uh, three and or two and three with Cade at running the point. Those are two shooters you can put on opposite ends. Like I think that could work really well if you paired them together. But I don't think you you write off Quentin Grimes just just yet. Look, and I'm not, and I am a Quentin Grimes fan. And let me just 
let me just bring this back. Cause like, you know, if I make a mistake, I'm going to say, Hey, I'll bring it up and I'll admit that I was wrong. He only played six games for the Pistons. So it is a fair point. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm just saying like, you're throwing him in the trash, man. He was already in there. He hey, just picked well, him up and I've, threw him back I've in. I've also projected him as the starter alongside Cade Cunningham. If they don't bring in a monk or a Lonnie Walker or, a Gary Harris or whatever. And you are right. Like you could keep Quentin Grimes and still sign Gary Harris and play Cade Cunningham with them all on the floor <laughs> because Cade Cunningham, he can defend threes. He has the size and yeah. the length to do that. And you could do that with Gary Harris and Quentin Grimes. They could be two like little pit bulls, you know, at six, four and six, five and their length as well. Guarding guards in the backcourt. It would be cool. It would be a lot of fun. Like, look, that's the thing like there's a like signing any of these guys it gives you a lot of different combination 